Hello everyone, welcome to Top Scholars, the smart learning app. Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss some of the previously asked questions from the chapter Gravitation. So, if you are preparing for the 10th standard examination of Maharashtra State Board, then this particular video is going to be very, very important. So, in this lecture, what we are going to do is, we are going to discuss the last 5 years of questions that have been asked in the state board examination for 10th standard. Okay. So, let's start our lecture and first of all, let's look at this chart which shows us how many questions in total were asked from this particular chapter. So, here is the statistical data. Now, if you look at this data, then there are one mark questions, two mark questions and three marks questions that have been asked in the last five years. So, if you look at this 2019, then one question for one mark, one question for two mark and one question for three mark. Similarly, if you look at 2020, there was one question for two marks and one question for three marks. Similarly, here in the year 2021, we had two questions for one mark, then one question for two mark and there was no question for three mark. Similarly, if you go into the year 2022, then there was one question for two marks and one question for three marks. Now, in the last year, that is 2023, we had one question for two marks and one question for three marks. Now, in total, if you look at this, there were in total three questions for one mark, then five questions for two marks and then four questions for three marks in the last five year from year 2019 till 2023. Okay, so that's why if you look at this chart, we can see that in total we have got 12 questions that have been asked. So, this chapter is, as we know, it is very easy also, but at the same time, this is a scoring chapter also because if you look at the marks, then there are total 25 marks. That means total questions of 25 marks have been asked in the last five years. So, that's why this is a very, very important chapter for you, isn't it? So, now let's move on and now let's actually look at the questions that have been asked. So, what basically we are going to do is, we are first of all look at the questions only, then at the later stage of this lecture, we will actually see the solutions for those questions. That means we will solve some of the questions out of all these questions that were asked. Okay. Now, before we get into those questions, again, uh, there is a chart or we can see there is a graph which actually indicates the same statistical data in a graphical form. That means, year-wise, how many questions were asked for different, different marks, isn't it? So, you can check out this also. This graph also gives us a good indication of how many questions for different, different marks were asked. Now, let's move on to the first question from the year 2019 from the Maharashtra State Board. So, the first question here is, write the following answer in the box. So, here we can see, we have been given two diagrams. Here it is and here it is. So, here there are two masses, M1 and M2. Here also we have got two masses, M1 and M2. Now, this one is separated by a distance D and this one is separated by 3D, right? Now, as we know from the Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force between two masses is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So, that is why F is equal to G M1 M2 upon D squared. Similarly, here we have to write down what will be the force between these two masses. So, as we know, it is just G M1 M2 divided by the distance is 3d. So, it will be 3d squared and if you do the squaring here, then what we will get is g m1 m2 divided by the square of 3 is 9 and then d squared. So, that is going to be our simple answer and this is for one mark. 
okay so this was a pretty simple question asked in the year 2019 moving on to the next question a metal ball of mass 5 kg falls from a height of 490 meter okay how much time it will take to reach the ground okay so this is for two marks okay and this question is quite easy here what we can do is here we can use the equations of kinematics here we have got three equations one of them is v is equal to u plus at a is the acceleration now in this case the acceleration is acceleration due to gravity so that's why we will put here small g t so this is our one of the formula the other formula that we can use is s is equal to ut plus half et square but here acceleration is g so it is gt square and the third formula that we can use is v square is equal to u square plus 2 as again a is nothing but g and it is s where s here is the displacement v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity and t is the time taken so using all these equations we can actually calculate the time it will take to reach the ground moving on to the next question what would be the value of g on the surface of the earth if its mass was twice and its radius half of what it is now so here also we can use the newton's law of gravitation and find out the value of g isn't it so this is g the acceleration due to gravity definitely it depends on the mass of the earth and it also depends on the radius of the earth isn't it so we can do that also okay then moving on to the next question now this is from the year 2020 remember some of the questions will be discussed in detail at the end of this lecture okay so in the year 2020 we had this question give scientific reason the weight of an object changes from place to place though its mass is constant so we have to give here a scientific reason okay for this particular statement that means why the value of gravity okay or we can say why the value of weight changes from distance to distance or we can say from place to place that means if you check the weight on moon or if you check the weight on mars okay or somewhere else then you will find out that the value is different okay so why does that happen okay even though the mass is constant okay so this question will be discussed later on okay next is this one observe the given figure showing the orbit of an planet moving around the sun and write the three laws related to it so here we have been given a diagram or a figure and observing this figure we have to actually write the three laws related to this particular diagram so basically as we can see here this is the planet as we can see here and this is the sun so the planet is actually revolving around the sun and we know there are three laws relating this motion isn't it and these three laws combinedly they are called as kepler's laws right so we have to state over here what are those kepler's laws okay so we are going to do that at the end of this lecture okay now moving on to the next question from the year 2021 okay so the question is as we rise from the surface of the earth the value of g what so it's a mcq right for one mark so whether it increases becomes zero does not change or decreases so as we know it basically decreases moving on write the name of the law shown in the following diagram so as you can see in the year 2021 okay and in the year previous year 2020 we had the same kind of question okay so we'll discuss this later on okay so here also we have to actually talk about or describe the kepler's laws okay now moving on to the next question 
now from the year 2021. So here a tennis ball is thrown up and it reaches a height 5 meter before coming down. What was its initial velocity? G is 10 meter per second squared. So here again you can use the laws of or equations of kinematics that is V is equal to U plus AT then S is equal to UT plus half AT squared then V square is equal to U square plus 2 AS. Only thing is instead of A we have to write the G, small g that is acceleration due to gravity. V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity and T is the time. S over here is the displacement, total displacement during this whole motion. Okay. So, using these equations and putting all these values, we can actually find out the answer that is initial velocity u. Now, moving on to the next question. Here it is. Now, from the year 2022. So, now you can see again, we can see the same diagram here that we saw in the year 2021 as well as in 2020. So, this question seems to be quite important. So, be ready with this question because it might be asked in this year also. Okay, so this Kepler's laws is quite important for you because you can see it is repeated you. It has been asked in the last three years, that is 20, 21 and 22. Okay, so the first question here is, an object takes 5 seconds to reach the ground from a height of 5 meter on a planet. What is the value of g on the planet? So again, here you can use the same equations, that is equations of kinematics okay to solve this question okay the equations as we know are v is equal to u plus at then v square is equal to u square plus 2 as and then s is equal to ut plus half at square okay then the next question as we have just seen this is kepler's laws here we have to describe the kepler's laws okay again you can see this is quite important for three marks isn't it let's move on to the next question from the here 2023. So, here first question is this is quite different. This is distinguish between mass and weight, isn't it? So, here we have to talk about what is the difference between mass and weight. So, as we know, mass is something that is inherent to that particular object, weight can change from place to place, and weight basically is a force, isn't it? This is the force exerted on an object by a particular planet due to gravity, isn't it? And mass is inherent, it does not change. Wherever you go in the universe, the mass is going to remain same. But the weight may change depending on where you are, okay? So, these are some of the differences between mass and weight. Then, next question is, calculate the escape velocity on the surface of the moon given the mass and radius of the moon to be 7.34 into 10 to the power 22 kg and 1.74 into 10 to the power 6 meters respectively okay and the value of g is also given here so over here we have to calculate the escape velocity okay on the surface of the moon okay moving on now what we are going to do is we are going to solve Okay, some of the questions. So, here, this is one of the question, questions asked in the year 2019 for two marks. A metal ball of 5 kg falls from a height of 490 meter. How much time it will take to reach the ground? G is 9.8 meter per second squared. So, let us look at the solution for this. First of all, what is given? mass is given that is 5 kg then distance is also given that means how much distance that ball has traveled right and the distance is nothing but the height okay now initial velocity of the ball is zero because initially when it was dropped from that particular height initially the velocity was zero then gravitational acceleration that is g is 9.8 meter per second squared then 
over here we can use the Newton's second equation that is s is equal to ut plus half gt squared okay now let's put all the numbers so s is known to us that is distance u is 0 so this term will be cancelled and then half g g is 9.8 and into t squared so after we calculate this what we get is 490 is equal to 4.9 t squared is it and after we solve this what we get is t square is equal to 100 and in this way t is equal to 10 second okay so this is going to be the answer for this particular question that is 10 seconds okay so therefore the ball takes 10 seconds to reach the ground moving on to the next question now give scientific reason the weight of an object changes from place to place though its mass is constant solution is as we know mass is a fundamental property of matter and remains constant regardless of the location it is a measure of the amount of matter in an object okay so definitely this is going to remain the same then the mass of an object on earth will be the same on earth on the moon or in outer space it is a scalar quantity and does not change with location so as we know mass is a scalar quantity it does not have any direction right so it does not change with location next weight is the force exerted on an object due to gravity it is given by the formula weight is equal to mg where w is the weight m is the mass of the object and g is the acceleration due to gravity since gravity varies from place to place the weight of an object will change with location that means as we know if we take example of moon or earth or mars or any other planet okay everywhere the acceleration due to gravity the value of g is different so therefore the weight of any object is going to be different on different different planets or we can say at different different locations in space okay so while an object's mass remains constant its weight can vary depending on the strength of the gravitational field at its location so strength of the gravitational field is different at different places that's why the weight can vary at different different places moving on to the next question state the law related to the given diagram so as we had seen this question was asked many times isn't it 2020 21 and 22 also for three marks this is related to the kepler's law right so we can state what are those laws here it is the laws related to the given diagram are first that is kepler's first law the orbit of an planet okay the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at the foci as you can see here the planet is performing a elliptical motion it is not exactly a circular motion this path as you can see is a ellipse not a circle okay so this is kepler's first law okay then kepler's second law the line joining the planet and the sun sweeps equal areas in equal intervals of time okay the line joining the planet and the sun sweeps equal areas in equal intervals of time for example here you can see this is the line that is joining the planet and the sun so in equal intervals of time this line will sweep equal areas okay so here we can see here the line is shorter okay here the line is longer isn't it so here also if you take the same time interval then here also in the same time it is going to sweep equal area that means this distance will be shorter as compared to this distance same here it is going to sweep equal areas okay even though this distance is longer okay so this is the second 
law. Next, Kepler's third law, the square of the orbital period of revolution of a planet around the sun. That means, period of revolution, capital T squared is directly proportional to the cube of the mean distance of the planet from the sun. Okay. So, here we can write, let us say r is the distance or you can take x and it is cube. Okay. So, here we can see that the square of the orbital period of revolution of a planet around the sun is directly proportional to the cube of the mean distance of the planet from the sun. Okay. So, this is the Kepler's third law. Okay. And in this way, these are some of the questions that we have discussed from the last five years. Okay. So, all these questions that we have seen were asked in the last five years of exams in the Maharashtra State Board. Okay. From the chapter gravitation. Okay. So, I hope all these questions that we have seen are very much clear and very well understood. Okay. And all the best for your examination. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.